Hello class, I'm talking more about the Air Force Training Academy uh, case problem that we have in chapter 11 for our case problem studies. The sample mean of 75,066 and 75,426 show that both methods have approximately the same mean completion time. The standard deviation of 3.945 hours for the current method and 2.506 hours for the proposed method show the proposed method has less variation. Test of difference between population means with the null hypothesis mu1 minus mu2 equals 0 as uh, with alpha equals 0 0.05, the null hypothesis cannot be rejected. The sample evidence uh, does not indicate the methods differ in terms of mean completion times. The 95% confidence interval estimate of the difference between two population mean is minus 1.55 to 0.83 hours. For the hypothesis test of no hypothesis sigma 1 square equals sigma 2 square, we find the p-value is less than equals 0 0.05, so no hypothesis is rejected. We conclude that two methods differ in terms of variance. The data show the proposed method has the smaller variance, indicating the students trained under this method are more consistent in terms of completion time. Based on the data available, the proposed method is preferred. Two methods are very close in terms of mean completion time with the 95% confidence interval of the difference being minus 1.55 to 0 0.83 hours. However, the proposed method has a significantly lower variance. Under the proposed method, students are more likely to complete the training in approximately the same amount of time. There should be less chance of faster students waiting for slower students to complete the training. Before making a final decision, we recommend the data be collected on the amount of learning under the two methods. The time data favors switching to the proposed method. However, is the quality of training with the proposed method the same or better than the quality of the training with the current method? Both groups could be given an exam examination at the end of the training program. Analysis of examination scores will determine if the pro programs were similar or different in terms of the amount of learning provided by the programs. This analysis should be made prior to final decision to switch to the proposed method.